Greetings, all manner of social media. Yes, all manner of social media. I ain't just talking Twitter or Facebook. I mean YouTube, too. Yes, even you, YouTube. But this problem is a lot more prevalent on Twitter, despite Elon Musk taking over. The fact that this problem still persists, despite Elon Musk now running the show, it doesn't exactly inspire a lot of confidence, I'm not going to lie. Because we still see the same problem. The same problem of clout chasing and wanting to destroy an innocent man's life because potatoes, because raisins, because moldy carrots, whatever the fuck you want to input here. It angers me to no end that this shit is allowed to persist. The fact that these false accusers are allowed to get away with it. The fact that we don't even give them the same amount of scrutiny as those falsely accused. It pisses me off. It angers me to no end. And it can anger you as well. Because this shit takes away credibility from legitimate victims. This should not be tolerated, and yet it is. Why? Is clout that much more important than actual victims? Is it? Because the minute someone comes out with something on social media, it's instantly believed. It's not even questioned. And the fact that some of these people refuse to even answer questions about the accusations should be enough to raise red flags. But it isn't. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And honestly, I'm every right to be angry about this. Outraged. This should be outraging to a lot of people. Everybody in the United States should be collectively agreeing with this, but no, that's not where we're at. <sighs> Needless to say, there is a reason why I include this at the end of my live streams now. Because seriously, he's still being crucified even now. Hell, the fact that he was dropped from the runaway guys is another pin in uh, that very situation. There's also this. Anybody that believes lies about you before hearing your side of the story was already looking for a way to be against you. Yeah, there's a reason why I use that as well. <clears throat> Any accusation being made both sides of the situation are mandatory to hear, or at least you'd think it would be. But there are some people who refuse to hear both sides of any given anything, which should also raise red flags. People who tell you, get used to your side not being heard, those people are part of the problem and don't want anybody to even try to defend themselves from anything. That's why they tell you, well, maybe you should get used to your side not being heard. Maybe, just maybe, you need to get used to hearing both sides. I have far gone beyond my tolerance limit for all of this bullshit. So, I... I have started a petition to mandate anybody with an accusation of any kind report to law enforcement before going to social media. Because, honestly, the whole problem is going straight to social media and not going to law enforcement. If this gets anywhere, perhaps I'll have some faith restored. In humanity. Maybe. But the petition is mandating reporting to law enforcement prior to social media accusations. I have personally witnessed the devastating effects of false accusations on social media. Individuals such as Lady Emily have been known to make unfounded allegations that can irreparably, 
irreparably damage a person's life. Not a Yeah. Not only does this harm innocent individuals, but it also undermines the credibility of real victims who are brave enough to come forward. The rise in clout chasing, using sensational and often untrue stories for personal gain or attention, is a concerning trend. It, it is. And it has become increasingly important to ensure that accusations are properly investigated before they are publicized on social media platforms. According to the study by the University of California, Los Angeles, false accusations can lead to severe psychological trauma and societal ostracization for those accused. Furthermore, false allegations can undermine genuine cases of abuse or assault by creating skepticism around all claims. To protect the potential victims and those just unjustly accused, we propose legal requirement for all accusers to report their allegations directly to law enforcement agencies prior to their disclosure on social media platforms. This will ensure due process is followed and will help maintain the integrity of true victim stories. We need your help in making this change happen. Please sign this petition today so that we can take one step closer towards justice and fairness in our society. Yeah, I've seen this trend go on for far too long to not take action at this point. That's the whole point I had that petition done. So I urge anyone watching this, and if everybody watching this, please sign the petition and share it out everywhere. Because we cannot tolerate false accusations any longer. Nor going exclusively to social media to air accusations without going to the police. This cannot be tolerated. This must not be tolerated. For those watching on YouTube, the petition will be the first link in the low bar. And to subsequent um, social media platforms, I will share the petition with this video. So, seriously, everyone, if we can come together, perhaps we can stop accusations for clout in its tracks. It has been far too damaging to our society and everyone involved to continue this dangerous trend. I, I even shared a video that I had done going over the dangers of false accusations and the witch hunt mentality. That did not get through to a lot of people. <clears throat> so I'm saying enough is enough. For a refresher for Nita and those who have not seen the video I was talking about, this is the video that I was talking about that I shared. Have you ever considered the dangerous power of a lie? A single false accusation can ruin lives, careers, and reputations. Today, we delve into the darkness of this phenomenon exploring the real-life consequences of false accusations and the modern-day witch hunts they often spark. Consider the case of the Central Park Five, five teenagers wrongfully accused and convicted for a crime they did not commit. These young men spent between 6 to 13 years in prison, their youth stolen from them, their futures tainted by a crime they never committed. A single lie, bolstered by public hysteria and a rush to judgment, changed their lives forever. Or perhaps you've heard of the infamous Salem Witch Trials of the late 17th century. A small village in Massachusetts was consumed by fear and paranoia, resulting in the false accusations, trials, and executions of 20 people. Lives were lost, families torn apart, and an entire community destroyed by the powerful sway of groundless allegations. These are not isolated incidents. In the present day, the rise of social media has only amplified the potential for false accusations to spread like wildfire. The case of Sunil Tripathi serves as a chilling reminder. Wrongly accused on social media of being one of the Boston Marathon bombers, Sunil faced a torrent of online abuse and harassment, even though he had nothing to do with the crime. The false accusation took a heavy toll, not only on Sunil, but also on his family. What do these cases tell us? They highlight the devastating and long-lasting impact of false accusations and witch hunts. They remind us of the human cost of jumping to conclusions without evidence. They underline the importance of due process and the presumption of innocence. 
False accusations can ruin lives, destroy families, and tear communities apart. They can create an environment of fear and mistrust, stifling open dialogue and constructive debate. And modern-day witch hunts, whether they take place in a courtroom or on social media, only serve to amplify these damaging effects. In the case of the Central Park Five, the Salem Witch Trials, and Sunil Tripathi, we see the dangerous power of false accusations and the devastation they can wreak. We see the long-lasting harm they can inflict on individuals, families, and communities. So as we close this exploration, let's remember the lessons these cases teach us. The presumption of innocence is a cornerstone of justice. Due process is essential. And above all, we should be cautious of the power of a lie, the damage it can do, and the witch hunts it can spark. It's essential to hold on to these lessons to question, to verify, and to think critically before we pass judgment. In doing so, we can help to prevent the harm caused by false accusations and witch hunts and work towards a more fair, just, and compassionate society. I had a petition done for that very reason. So I implore all of you watching this, please share the petition and sign it yourself. Because this trend has to come to a stop. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.